Hello and welcome to Northwest Guitars. Uh, in this video uh, I'm going to be wiring a uh, fully loaded Stratocaster scratch plate. Uh, it's for a custom order. Uh, we've started to advertise these on our website now. Uh, it's basically a, a set of Tone Rider pickups built onto a fully loaded scratch plate as you can see with CTS pot, CRL switch, basically all the best components. You can, you can buy them separately, you can do it yourself uh, and hopefully this tutorial might help you out a little bit but if it's you're not too confident with the soldering iron you don't want to ruin all the components and get them covered in solder then obviously we can wire it for you we don't charge a fortune for this um, and it's a way of making sure that all the components are going to work uh, right out of the box basically um, we do um, lots of different colored scratch plates uh, and we do a few different um, uh, pickup options uh, these are the pure vintage. We've also got City Limits and Classic Blues and the Safari ones. We can wire these up uh, with, with any set of pickups. Uh, typical standard Strat setup, so 250k pots and a 5-way switch. Uh, this one's a little bit different. It's, uh, it's a mint green scratch plate with uh, vintage white ivory pickups and knobs on it. That's what the customer wanted, but again we do different uh, scratch plate options, different pickup colours and stuff like that, so you can uh, basically build it to your specifications um, so so that's basically it I've got the uh, the wires here um, I like to keep everything tidy when I'm wiring these so I'm gonna basically um, just keep all the wires together trim them just to get a nice a nice fit with all the wires so there's nothing n no messy bits sort of lying around uh, basically that's it I've got a sort of a standard soldering iron that I got from Maplin's it's a 48 watt one uh, I did use a 25, 30 watt one and it, it just wasn't powerful enough to, it wasn't getting hot enough to stick the uh, the solder to the CTS pots for whatever reason. So this is a bit more powerful. I've got it on on full there and that, that seems to work fine. Uh, just some typical solder. This is uh, silver solder. Uh, some masking tape, some vintage cloth pushback wire and obviously the set of pickups which I've already put in. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is tidy up all these wires with a little bit of masking tape just a small amount in here the problem with the tone riders is that two of the pickups have got white uh, hot wires so it's just a case of making sure I know which one's which It's quite tiny now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to trim these wires. I tend to feed them through this little gap that I've got between the pickups if I can. Not always possible. There we go, going through now. There we go. There's just a little bit of slack there, and then sort of bend them back round so that I can figure out where to trim them because they're all going to go be fixed on the pot there. those there and back through there okay. so they're all nice and neat um, and these I will do these in a second so with the switch you would think that it would be neck middle bridge but it's actually not it's neck middle and the bridge goes on the furthest one away from you so this is the bridge that's going to go in there, it's going to leave a little bit of slack and cut that one. And then the middle. I'm just trimming a little bit off these. And the neck is just going to go right about there. Okay, so they're okay now. So what I can do is I can a little bit more tape on these here just to keep these tidy. Let's just make sure I get these around. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put this tape on after I've soldered them. I think. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the cap using a 
0.022 microfarad capacitor for this. Uh, and I'm going to cut one end right near the, near the end of the cap there. I'm going to push this through the bottom lug of the first tone pot and the second, the middle lug of the second tone pot, just like that. I'm going to solder that in place onto there. Always a good idea to just put a nice bulb of solder on the soldering iron. I don't know if I can show you this as I'm doing it, but I'm just keeping this upright. And that's that. So that's fixed onto the, the back of the CTS pot. Again, with a decent sized, uh, a decent uh, wattage uh, on the soldering iron, you don't have to keep the iron on the pot for too long. You don't want to fry the pot at the end of the day. And I'm just holding those contacts on there, just making sure that's that's okay in both places. I'm cutting that off. Trim off a little bit of excess on this pot. And there we go, so that's on there. Okay. Alright, and that's that. The next thing is you're gonna to want to bend this first lug on the volume pot over so that it's sort of pretty much touching the volume pot that's going to ground that out um, and you're going to use a blob of solder just to make sure that it's contacting properly there we go that's that okay so now it's time to wire the switch okay so first things first Always a good idea to tin these wires first, it just makes them a lot easier to solder to the pots and to the switch. Just a little bit on there. So this wire is going to go from the, the end lug of the tone pot to the first lug on the switch there, if you can see. So I'm just going to pop a solder on there. And I've already tinned this wire so it should go on pretty easily. That's that. Push the wire on a little bit. If you've got any excess on the other side, you can just nip that off. Okay, so as I say, that's going to go to the first lug. Try and keep the wires from touching the plate uh, just to stop any possible feedback. And then just tin in that first. In that first lug there. Then you need a jumper wire that goes from there to the opposite side, the last lug on the opposite side of the switch. So I'm going to make my life easier. I'm going to tin this one first. It's a bit cramped here, so sorry if you can't see very well. And I'm also going to make sure that wire's in there. Yep. And I'm just going to solder that in. Again, just a little bit of solder. You don't want too much. You don't want the whole switch covered in solder. And then I'm going to just heat that up again and poke this other wire in. There we go. That's it. And then, as I say, that's going to go to the opposite side, the last lug on the opposite side of this switch. Like so, I'm just going to trim that there. This cloth wire, really easy to use, nice and easy to pull back, so you don't need wire strippers or anything like that. can get a little bit frayed sometimes, but you can usually just heat it up and just melt it away. Just make sure to clean the soldering iron afterwards. Okay, so, a bit of solder on there. And then I'm just going to fold that wire, bend that so that it can fit in there pretty easily. We wire the first tone pot up first. It's the middle lug you need. So just a blow of solder on there. Put 
in the line. Not too much wire exposed there. That's it. So this is the first tow pot and that wire is going to go to the, the outermost lug on the inside of the switch. Oops. Again, just a small amount of solder on it, just enough to keep it in place. Second tone pot. Sorry if you weren't able to see that, that's going on the outer lug of the second tone pot. And that wire is going all the way to the second lug in. Just like that. So again, I'm keeping the wires from touching the, the back of the scratch plate. blob of solder on there, not too much. Trim off any excess. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the wiring of the switch and the tone pots. That is a standard strat setup. So that's a kind of setup you get on an American standard kind of setup you get on an SRV strat and that gives you uh, standard tone and volume controls. Obviously you don't get the tone control with the bridge pickup. If you wanted to do that you can see the wire that goes from the bridge uh, from the second tone pot up to there. If you want to connect that to the bridge then you just need a jumper wire that goes from the second lug to the third lug and that would give you tone control uh, over all three pickups if you wanted to do that. But this is just a standard strat setup as I said so no tone control on the bridge. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the ground wires uh, and these are the same kind of wire, all vintage cloth pullback wire so very easy to to use. Again, just remember to tin the wires first, just to make your life a little bit easier. I'm going to do one at a time, just a little blob of solder on each one. Fold that over. Just pop it on there. That's one. Nice and easy, nice and quick, not spending too much time heating that pot at that pot. I can put my finger on that, it's not overheated at all. So there shouldn't be any problems there uh, with frying the pots or anything. Uh, okay, so now it's just a case of wiring the actual pickups. We're going to use the back three lugs on the switch there. So the first thing, looking for the neck pickup, that's the hot wire for the neck pickup, and that's going to go, in fact, we'll, we'll go the other way actually, we'll do the bridge first. So the bridge is going to go on the outermost lug. I'm still turning the wires first. And then I'll just put a blow of solder on this handbag if I can. That's okay. And a little bit more. Oops, sorry. Not able to see that. Just gonna put that in. Okay, that's the first one going, second one, middle pickup, next lug along. And just a bit of 
solder on the switch. Not quite cool with this one, just one. Just heating that up a bit. Okay. And then the next pickup. Probably a bit too much wire exposed there, so I'm just gonna push that back. I can always trim a little bit off afterwards if I need to on the other side of the switch. There we go. Just a bit of wire exposed at the back of the switch. Not important, I don't think anything's going to touch that, but I'll just tidy that up anyway. That one's okay. They're all fine. There we go. So there are three pickup wires. And again, they'll go around there, roughly in the same place. I'm just going to put a little bit of masking tape on there just to keep them together. And there we go. So it's nice and tidy. Just got to wire the uh, the output jack socket now. So it's very simple to do. Again, stripping the wire back and just turning it first. And this is going to go to the middle log of the volume pot. I'm just trying to make my life easier when I do come to fit this, so I'm leaving that finger, finger and thumb span of wire there just to make it easy to put the jack socket, the wire through when I come to do it. A bit of black wire for the ground. Again, a little bit of solder on the, on the iron. I'm just going to attach this to the seat to the top of the pot. Attach it to the top there. Just measure both wires just to make sure they're, off, they're roughly the same length. And twist these together just to make them nice and neat. In case I didn't say it before, it's always a good idea to tin the the iron before you you know before you tin it. it just makes it easier. So that's those. And then you've got your jack socket. So with the jack socket, there are two. Hopefully, I can show you here if I if I can. There are two, obviously, two connections there. If you look down the top of it, you can see that one connection is connected to the big ring in the centre, and the other one isn't. And that big one there that you can see on the left on this particular switch, on this particular socket, the big silver thing in the middle, that is your ground. So that is the one that's going to have the black wire attached to it. The other one is the white. Okay, so I'll be doing the white wire first. Simple to do. Makes sense. And the black one. There we 
open. If there's any excess wire on the other side, you can snip that off. You don't want there to be too much there because it could start to touch the, the jack plug when the jack plug comes through there. So that's that. And then the final thing is on most rats they have a, a ground wire that goes to the uh, back of the tremolo claw. So I'm going to attach that ready for the customer. And again, that's just going to go to the back of the volume pot. Just about there. There we go. Again, that's going to be too long. Yeah, I think finger and thumb should be fine. Cut that off. And that is it. That's all done. So that's completely wired now. All nice and neat, as you can see. Oop. Hopefully. That's all done. Ready to go.